every year I go pick up my new boat and you know, I'm really excited. I want to get this thing in the water right away. And we get the motors hung and we get all that taken care of. And we get the trailer set. But then I got one more stop to make, and that is I come to Formula Propeller. I do it every year. I come right here in Dayton, Minnesota, and I'll tell you why. Because Todd Hesse does all my install on my electronics. And to me, the electronics install is just as important as hanging those motors. I got to be able to see where I'm going, see fish, and see structure. But I understand that sometimes it can get really complicated to get all this stuff on if you're trying to do it yourself. So today, we stopped over here at Formula, and we brought my boat in here. And we're going to show you exactly how to install all this stuff, and Todd's going to talk you right through it. So if you're going to put on your own transducers and set up your own graphs, get ready, because we're going to show you exactly what we're doing. Todd, why don't you take a few minutes and explain to everybody how to install the high-speed transducer on an aluminum boat. The high-speed transducer is the smaller transducer than the side imaging transducer. And one of the keys to installing the high-speed transducer is to make sure that it's clear of all rivets or strakes in the bottom of the boat. The rivets that are in the bottom or strakes will create air pockets, and the air pockets will go around the transducer and it will not read the bottom or fish properly. Side imaging transducers are the larger ones and those are going to come out at a parallel angle to the side of the transducer and you want to make sure that that's more centered in the boat and lower than your high speed transducer or the high speed will interfere with the side imaging. Todd, when I've done some of my own installs, I think one of the things that's been the most complicated for me is understanding exactly what height versus the transom I want that transducer at. You know, how far down below the transom I want it hanging, or do I want it even? What exactly do they want to do there? With the high-speed transducer, you want about half of the transducer to be down below the bottom of the boat. And with the side imaging, you want that to sit up higher so that when you're on plane, the water isn't hitting that and creating a giant rooster tail into the back of the boat. And what you have to understand is the reason that you're not worried about that side imaging transducer being down there is you're not using that at high speeds anyway. You're usually using that when you're just idling and looking off to the side of the boat. That high speed's going to pick up on this boat at 50 miles an hour and I'm going to see everything I need to see. Hey, a couple more things that I want to point out though too. When you go to install this stuff yourself, if you're going to network more than two units, and we're talking graphs, we're talking the 360 or your iPilot link. You have to make sure you're using a five port ethernet box. You have to have that or you can't make all of this stuff talk. And if it talks, it all works right. The other thing you need to do is you need to understand that with these brand new Onyx units, there's different cables. So if you're rigging your boat with all the new Onyx stuff, like we're gonna do with this one here eventually, what you gotta do is make sure you have the right Y cables and all the other cables correct. Otherwise, you're gonna find out you're gonna have a problem. You can't just plug and play with the cables from your core units. So make sure you got the right stuff, talk to your dealer, get all the things you need, and you can put all this together and you can do it yourself right in your driveway.